Hey, beloved, Krista Pettiport here. I have a prophetic word for single Christian women over 40. God says that he is saving you. It may feel like you're in a bubble. It may feel like you have done everything right. You have saved yourself. You have set yourself apart. You have done everything that you know to do. You have lived godly in life. And maybe you have not. Maybe you have made some mistakes, but you love God and you have a desire to do it his way. And you're waiting for him to bring you a mate. You may have been married before and you'd like to be married again. Or you may have been single your whole life, whether or not you have children. But God says, do not give up and don't faint because he is saving you for the right person, that there is somebody that fits you. It's not that there's only one person, but there is some person that fits what you need, that will be a covering for you, that will be a protection and a provider for you that you can find rest in the house of your husband. I think of Naomi and Ruth, and I think of how it looked like they were done with life and marriage, and God brought someone to Ruth who was older than her, who was not what she was thinking that she would have wanted. And even Boaz said that you could have chosen younger men, but you chose me. So I don't know if it's going to be younger or older, but it may not be what you thought you needed or what you thought you wanted, but God is saving you for what he knows that you need, what he knows will bring a blessing to your life, will add joy and peace and stability and prosperity to your life that will not be a heartache, that will not hurt you, that you can grow old with. So sis, God is saving you. So when the guy that you're interested in or the man overlooks you um, or you feel like you are invisible, maybe to certain uh, men or certain places, know that God is saving you. Know that as soon as you stop making that the greatest focus, that God is going to place that person in your path. And it may start out not in the attraction of uh, sexual attraction, but in the spiritual friendship, because there's different type of loves. This man is going to make you feel, going to make you feel loved and not lusted after, pursued and not pressured. He's going to let you feel the love of God and not the lust of man. And it's going to be different for you. It's going to be different. It's going to awaken, not love before it's time, but it's going to be a spiritual awakening and it's going to bring you up higher because iron sharpens iron. So wait on God because he is saving you for something special. You are special and you have waited all this time. So don't fade and don't settle. God bless you until next time.